We first saw Silby Bridge Wharf when we came on a boat in about 1973. The site was empty. The buildings were all in very poor condition. Well, remembering Eastbrook Hall as it had been after the fire and made it an eyesore in the community. It was a disaster because this had been not only a church, it was a community facility. Everyone could see that the buildings had potential. People would look at them and say, gosh, what a pity, it would be nice if, and those kinds of things. But nobody knew how to do it. Having produced the scheme we've got, people say it's wonderful. They can see that all the buildings are being used. More people are working here on the site than ever did when it was being used for warehousing. Everybody knew Eastbrook Hall. It was a landmark. And to see it in ruins was quite heartbreaking, really. I wondered really what was going to happen because there had been a scheme to put an office block on this site and there was a public outcry against it. English Heritage, many people felt that this should be preserved for the city and needed renewing in a way which would satisfy the whole community. Old buildings are wonderful assets and they can be adapted for the uses of the 21st century. The Trust is the only organisation in the United Kingdom that works with community groups throughout the process of regenerating a heritage building. I woke up one morning and I wanted to open a pub and a restaurant business and I'd heard about the Sorrowbridge Wharf but I'd never been even though I'd lived here all my life. So I came down, I had a look and I saw the realisation of a dream possible. The building was all empty, they were derelict, there was nothing going on, but the place had a tremendous feeling. And so from that moment on, I had to find out who I needed to speak to and how I could move it forward. The Prince of Wales identified that there were wonderful heritage buildings that simply were being allowed to go to rack and ruin. And he felt really passionately that they could contribute to the communities in which they're in, that they could be brought back into life and play a really viable role going forward. With the Prince of Wales' name being mentioned and it being perfectly clear that he knew all about it and was interested and was wanting things to be achieved. It makes everybody sit up and take notice in a way that you otherwise couldn't do. Quite often we're approached by community groups who are seeking our help to see if they can rescue a building about which they feel particularly passionate. The Prince's Regeneration Trust undertook with us and their consultant team to come up with a scheme that would be commercially viable and maintain as much integrity of the original building as possible. The Trust is unique in that it brings together a wide range of skills. We have skills such as architects, we have people with regeneration expertise, we have people who come from a heritage background, and we take those skills and we work with people at a local level. With Eastbrook Hall, if it hadn't been a heritage-led restoration, all this unique, original Victorian glass would have been lost. The glass was in an industrial lock-up. Lots of the panels were laid on top of each other. Some of the panels had cracked. It took us the best part of an hour just to drag it all out and lay it out on the floor, begin to establish what it was, and it was just amazing to see this beautiful window take shape. As craftsmen, we need good projects to work on so that we can show our apprentices the beauty of the glass and craftsmanship from previous generations so that they can continue to do that for the next generation. We are a neutral party because people trust us to seek the right end to a project, find the right solutions. We're able to come in and mediate amongst a range of stakeholders. We couldn't have managed at all without the Princess Regeneration Trust. They were a complete rock. They introduced the right format for us to all move forward in the same direction. They made us into a team, a partnership that actually worked. We would never have been able to achieve that without the mediation that the Trust gave us. The projects that we support, they're about creating an environment where people want to work, where they want to invest, where they want to be. We help community groups deliver a vision and catalyse wider regeneration in the community. And all our projects have that potential. 
All it needs is a spark to get the process going. The regeneration of the buildings here at Salby Bridge by the partnership which comprised British Waterways, the Prince's Regeneration Trust, amongst others, has brought real benefit to the communities. The generation down here certainly helps, I think, to trigger other people to have confidence to open other businesses in Salby Bridge. And people are walking with their heads higher, but it's got a lot better feel than it certainly, I think, was triggered from what happened here. So we're not going to knock down old mills and warehouses simply because the original function has gone. These are an enormous inheritance from past generations, built very frequently to the highest architectural standards of the day. They're part of the landscape, they're part of the fabric of a community. People want to see them reused, and there's no reason why we can't do that successfully. I think the sight of a building that is derelict brings concern and also real worry to all simply because they say, when is something going to be done about this? So to see now what's happened with this building magnificently restored, its dome replaced, majestic, and it's providing affordable housing for the community, that, that to me, is wonderful. The Prince's Regeneration Trust works all over the United Kingdom. We have projects in the far north of Scotland, for example, working with community groups in Caithness on a number of heritage buildings in the local town that they're very keen to rescue. And we're also working in Hale in the southwest of England, again, very closely with a community group, bringing together a range of buildings and supporting them and bringing back into viable use. We really need the support of, of generous donors in order to make this work happen. And the work that we do, it delivers real benefit to the communities in which they sit, helps to create jobs, creates a new focus for community activity. And without not just the continued support of the people who have supported us before, but also new people working with us and helping us to make it happen, we simply can't deliver it.